Oh, coming at you today with this video with a brand new light, with a brand new green screen. Well, it's actually just a green screen in my house. And a little bit of outdoor scenery, as you can see, nice. And a designer t-shirt. It's the only one I own, because most of my stuff is gym. But this video, I'm gonna show you my upper chest circuit, which I've done today, targeting the upper fibers of the chest to get that big and bulky to stick around. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. <sighs> So I started off this upper chest workout with the bench, with me sliding the bench back, and then me lying down on the bench. But we did a barbell incline bench press here. Now what you can't see is I'm retracting my shoulder blades and trying to get that squeeze in my back to kind of pump my chest out. Now what I'm doing is controlling the negative on a three to four second, taking that stretch from the insertion on top of the humerus, taking it nicely stretched my arms down to the side, slightly angled downwards as well, pointing towards my ankles instead of completely flared out and controlling that and pushing and completely locking out my arms at the top position to get that nice squeeze and contraction of the upper chest, which is kind of in the shape of like a long triangle which is the bottom part of the triangle, which would be the long part in the center of the chest, and it goes smaller and thinner as it goes out towards the arm or the top of the humerus. I then dropped that, and then I went straight into dumbbell incline chest press. Now the difference here is obviously where I can move, my range of movement, I can flare my arms further out to the side, and I bring them in close to the center line of the body, which is really good to get that deeper contraction, because the barbell obviously restricts that as you can't pull your hands in closer. So I was going for about a eight, five to eight rep range on each of these, just controlling to see how my body felt. When I picked these up and put these down, I was always conscious of my core to keep it tight and controlled because you don't want to hurt yourself. I jumped straight over there for the circuit, now into landmines, and as I'm showing here, is I'm squeezing, crush grip press is called, so I'm literally going in the prayer position for my hands and I'm crushing it in the entire time, which helps engage that center of the chest and gets that really contracted control the whole time and keeping that tension. Now, I'm pressing it out in about a five rep range, jumping straight over to single arm landmine flies here. So I'm showing you here the stretch and then the squeeze at the top position. I'm trying to show you where it is and what we're working from the center to the outside of the upper chest. Completely burning them out now. They were on fire, but it was a great workout and it's nice to feel where you're actually targeting. So once again, I'm showing you here the stretch and then that squeeze, the kind of concept of what we're doing here, taking that muscle into stretch and then taking it into contraction each side straight after, back to back. And this is what I did with the weights and the barbell circuits right here, from bench to dumbbells to landmines, adjust my shirt and walk away, XL. I left this in because it looks like I do the same thing every time, adjust my shirt and walk away. Interesting. Now this is the body weight part to hit the upper chest. Now, if you look at the angles here, it's gonna be exactly the same. So this is an advanced prowler push-up with the elevated feet. But if you look, the whole concept is me pushing the weight away and away from the upper chest right here of the angle of my body is really targeting that now. And elevating the feet gives it that intense blast. Now I've put my feet to the ground and these are normal prowler push-ups. So we've got advanced to intermediate right here, still controlling that direction of where we're trying to push away. My hands will finish above my head and as I come down, they look like in a more natural push-up position. Now this is the beginner prowler push-up, still targeting the upper chest, and I've done five reps on each of these, and as I failed on each one, I went to the next one, and went to the next one, and just really got, got a body weight grind on my upper chest. Did I exhale and change my shirt? Yes, I did. There you have it. That was the kind of circuit I've done for my upper chest. Now, nothing beats the fundamentals, the big compound lifts, because the barbell or the dumbbells, but it's also nice to throw in exciting kind of exercises like the landmine and the single arm press, which makes it fun and enjoyable experience for you while you're at the gym working out. Now I'm gonna disappear into the green screen. Look, ready? Oh, where's he gone? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yes, oh, it's so worth buying all this green paint. Just remember, like and subscribe. Ooh, floating hands, floating hands. Oh, this is great.